found Daniel. Others have tried to leave me and they couldn't do it either. And do you know why you won't leave me? Because the moth doesn't tell the flame when to go. You belong to me now, Daniel. Just like the stars in the heavens, never to escape. You're wrong about one thing, though, Daniel. This doesn't have to end before someone gets hurt. Sorry. Are you okay? Are you hurt? Seem to be fine. I, you know, I really didn't see you back up. You know, I'm willing to pay for any damage. It's hardly more than a scratch. I guess you were lucky. Do you have a business card? I'll call you if there's anything more. Yeah, sure. Okay. If there's a problem, I'll call you. That's all for the report. Now let's take a look at the weather in downtown Phoenix. Looks like it's going to reach about 100 degrees today, with clouds coming in a late afternoon. Tomorrow we're going to reach about 110. Woo! It's going to be hot. Why don't we stay tuned for a little Watchman Ranch in about one hour in Scottsdale surrounding your Oh my god! Get back! Take Justin in the house! Show, get back into the house! Take Justin back in the house! No! Get back! Get back! Come on! Get back! Get back! Sorry, I gotta fix that fence. Come here, you. Oh, you okay? Yeah. Huh? I'm sorry, you all right? Well, I'm just scared to death. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Come here, you. Oh, I'm sorry, I was just trying to fix up the house before I tackled the yard. You okay, you afraid? Hello? No? Uh, may I ask who's calling? Sure, one minute. All right, I'm gonna make sure that battle dog never comes here and bothers us again, all right? Dan, uh, is it Victoria Landers for you? Who? I don't know, she said you left your card with her? I'd like the bookshelves to match the wood above the mantelpiece. 
You didn't call because of the accident? No. I need some work done. I had your card. Oh, okay. I thought you had whiplash or something. It was barely a bump. So you want to match this what? Yes. You know that this is Tame Lash. It's very expensive. But very beautiful, don't you think? It's true. Very. Is this your husband? No, that's my father. I'm sorry. I just I thought that. It's okay. He was a great man. I loved him very much. Well, may I write you a check? Check? So you can start on your work. You don't need to see a bid first. I mean, a job like this could cost maybe 5000 with materials. I'll write you a check for 2000 to begin. When can you start? Tomorrow, if you like. Don't you have another job? Well, let's just say that you caught me between projects. Lucky me. Let me take some measurements here. Are you new to this area? Yes, I've been here for about six months. Married? Yes. Any children? I have a beautiful boy. Well, that's nice. A lot of responsibility for a young man. Yeah, they mean the world to me, but I can handle it. I'm sure you can. Wow. This is beautiful. What is this, black walnut? Judging from the carvings, uh, let's see, late Victorian, uh, 1890s? Very good. I love my craftsmanship. I mean, just, the, just the touch of it. It's just... You look like you have a nice touch. Yeah. Well, um, I got everything I needed. I will see you in the morning. Thank you, Mrs. Myers. Please call me Victoria. I know we're going to enjoy working together. Great. to the first step. <laughs> what first step? First step down Easy Street. This woman is rich. She wants me to build bookshelves made out of tame lash wood. She's got these rich friends. I mean, this is what we've been looking for. I mean, this is the opportunity. I mean, money is going to be falling in. Here's the first steps. coming to bed. I'm too hyper to sleep. You love this, don't you? Yeah, I do. It makes me feel like I have a purpose. Like I'm building something that's gonna last. You know, I'm really glad that we moved to Phoenix. You know that? Yeah? Yeah. Thank you. I love you. I love you. You know what? Mm. This stuff can wait, but I can't. <laughs> if I wrap this, I'll match the fluting on your mantle. That's really good. What's that cologne you're wearing? Um, I'm not real sure. You know, we say a man's cologne tells so much about him. Well, I guess mine says that my wife buys it for me. But <laughs> well, she has exquisite taste. I'll be by the pool if you want me.
You doing okay? Yeah. You playing the sprinkler? Yeah. All right? Mm-hmm. How's my girl? Uh-oh. <laughs> What's the matter? Dan, the bloom payment on the loan for your tools and shop is up, and at this rate, we're just not going to make it. We're going to make it. We have to make it. Come on. We don't have enough. It's a big payment. We just don't have it. Okay, so we'll be late. I mean, well, what's the big deal? Dan, what is a missed payment or a late payment like this going to look like when you try to raise more financing for your business? Okay, I'll get the money. I, uh, could go to my father. No. No way. You are an artist. I'm glad you like them. I like them too. I think I'll be done with them by tomorrow. Tomorrow? Fast work. Dan? Yeah. Would you like to play some tennis? Excuse me? My regular tennis partner couldn't make it. I'd like to know if you'd want to fill in. I wish I could. I gotta go oh, and... Oh, uh... dear. I've made you uncomfortable. I'm sorry. No, no, it's not that. It's just It's that... all right. Really, I understand. I, I shouldn't impose. The truth is, uh, I don't have a regular tennis partner anymore, and I guess I... Never mind. No, 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 no. Please Come on. Thank no. You. Come on. Tell me what you're gonna say. Well, I, I guess I, um... Just didn't want to spend the day alone again. Well, to tell you the truth, I haven't played that game since I got married, and I wasn't all that good at it even then. Maybe I could teach you a few things. Well, maybe you could. I'll get you something to wear. Okay. <laughs> okay, just watch me and keep your eye on the ball. Well, which is it? Watch you or watch the ball? Whichever you think is going to do you more good. Hit that like a pro. Thought you didn't play much tennis. <laughs> <laughs> you lie. You're good at everything you do. Victoria, I'm not even in the same league as you. you Wanna take a shower? You can use the shower in the pool house. We don't want your wife to know you spent the afternoon playing tennis, do we? they wear down there, sometimes not even that much. Tahiti sounds like fun. It was. You know what I've been thinking? You know what I really would like in my bedroom? What? An adjoining study. How much would someone like that cost? Well, to match the rest of your house, you're talking approximately about $90 a square foot. 16 by 16, it costs you about 22, 23,000. Maybe a little bit more, depending on materials and how nice you want it. When can you start? What do you mean? Well, you can build it for me, can't you? You mean it. Of course I mean it. Great, OK. I'll start tomorrow. That's wonderful. All right, then. We are partners again. OK. Oh. $25,000? <laughs> I told you I'd get the job, didn't I? Yeah, you did. You always do. OK, what's next, huh? All right. Ugh. Let's 
do this. <laughs> what are you doing? Sorry, oh, sorry. Come on, I'm getting tired. Let's get this done. I know, me too. You know, I didn't tell her that I didn't have my contractor's license. Yeah. And I don't know if she's willing to wait until I take the test next month. Well, can you start the job without it? I don't know. I mean, our house is secluded, but I'd be taking a big chance. Yeah, but by the time you're ready for the inspector, won't you have already passed your licensing exam? Yeah, but I can't do the job by myself. I mean, I could probably dig the foundation and save some money, but, you know, I need a crew to help me pour the slab and help me with the framing. What about that guy Gary who helped lay the foundation for your shop? Well, he's not licensed either. That's exactly my point. He did it without a license. Didn't make a difference. Dan, if you don't take that job, she can give it to somebody else. Hi, Dan. Come on in. I took what you told me over the phone and I drew up these plans. They're pretty straightforward. Perfect. When can we get started? I have to talk to you about something. Really? What is that? I haven't taken my contractor's exam yet and, uh... Technically, I can't be working on a job this size until I have my license, but, um... You know what I think? I think sometimes rules are meant to be broken, and I think this is clearly one of them. Really? Okay, great. Okay, I'll be prepping for the foundation work right away. Good. Well, I have to go out for a while this afternoon. Will I see you later? I'll be right here. been here. I don't know. Thank you. You saved my life. Well, maybe you shouldn't swim alone. No, I, I just intend to uh, stick to tennis. How do you feel about a rematch tomorrow? Um, I got a lot of work to do tomorrow. Oh, stop worrying, Dan. Really, I mean, where are you going to find a boss who uh, is willing to pay to goof off for a while, huh? Just enjoy it. There's a fly in here. I don't want it to keep us awake. I don't think that you have to worry about a fly keeping you up tonight. Oh, really? Oh, yes, really. Really? Mm -hmm. mm, really? Mm. No, 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 let's get it. Let me get that. That might be a word <laughs> no. for me. OK, I'll get it. <laughs> uh, hello? Oh, hi, Mrs. Landers. 
Okay, Victoria. Why, well, I'd love to. Uh-huh. Okay, great. I'll see you then. Bye. this meeting was not entirely social. Dan told me you're looking for a new job, and I immediately thought of a friend of mine who's an orthodontist. I know he needs an assistant, but I didn't think that I could recommend you before I got to know you, and now I feel like a total fool, because I can already tell that you're perfect. <laughs> I'll call him today. Thank you. You know, you're nothing like Dan described you. <laughs> Is that good or bad? No, it's not bad at all. It's just... I don't know, I pictured this lonely woman who never left the house. <laughs> really? Mm. Well, I must say I envy you. You're very lucky to have a husband like Dan. He's hardworking, he's good-looking, but he's romantic. Yeah, he has his moments. I don't have any complaints. <laughs> yeah, my fears were unfounded. Fears? Fears about what? Oh, well, I don't know. Uh, just being around Dan, I got a sense that something was causing a little friction between you two. Yeah. All marriages have their problems once in a while. It's no big deal. I'm sure it's not. You know, I really enjoyed lunch. Oh, good. I'm glad. So did I. I feel like we're old friends already. <laughs> oh, isn't that good looking? <sighs> Wouldn't Dan look handsome in that? Yes, he would. Why don't you get it for him? Well, we really can't afford anything like that right well, now. Well, then I'll buy it for you. My treat. Uh, no, Victoria, thank you very much, but that's just a little too much. You know, there's a dance at the club tonight. I'd love it if you and Dan would join me. I'd like you to meet some people, including that orthodontist friend of mine. You know, that's very kind of you, but it's a little late for us to get a sitter maybe some other time. Please, it'll be fun. <laughs> and if a sitter is the only problem, then there's no problem. Because a friend of mine owns a babysitting service. Excellent references, the best. Okay. Now, he can have one popsicle after dinner, and these are the emergency numbers in case you need them. Does my tie match? Honey, you look fine. Don't worry. I need to look better than fun. I need to look successful. Well, you look successful. Thank you. How about I kiss your dad? I love you. Welcome. I'm so glad you're both here. Come with me. I want to introduce you to some of my friends. Jonathan? Victoria. No, no, no. Please don't get up. Please don't let us intrude. Dr. Peters is the finest orthodontist in Arizona. Oh, you're too kind. Dan is a builder. He's new to our city, but I can vouch for his work. It is superb. So when you start that new home, keep Dan in mind. I tell you, you're embarrassing me. <laughs> she does that to everybody, uh, especially when she likes you. Well, we'll let you finish your meal. Nice meeting you. There's Bob. Bob Van Owen. Bob Van Owen presides over all the biggest trials here. He is our most distinguished judge. And he used to be my sugar daddy. Victoria. She means that I was her father's law partner, and after his death, I oversaw the funds in a trust he'd established for her, nothing more. <laughs> Bob, you spoil all my fun. Don't you see I'm trying to charm these two with my scandalous past? You don't need me as an accomplice to do that, my dear. Excuse me. Oh, I thought this was a party. Good evening, Charlotte. How nice to see you again. Well, excuse me. I uh, promised my wife at least one dance this evening. Night. Sir? Charlotte, I'd like you to meet my new friends. Dan and Cheryl. This is Charlotte Reardon. My Charlotte, wife. Dan and Cheryl Hiller. They're new to our city. Oh, importing your friends now, are you? Please, Charlotte. Whatever you feel for me, there's no need to be ungracious. If you'll excuse us. Come on, Dan. What's that all about? Charlotte's husband died not long ago. She never really came to grips with the loss. She and I were very close. She's bitter, sad. I just wish there was something I could do to help her. Well, why don't you two join them out there? Yeah. No, I need to call the sitter. Um, 
Why don't you dance with Dan? You don't mind? No, not at all. He uh, likes to dance better than I do. <laughs> Are you sure? Absolutely. I'll be right back. Shall we? But maybe we should go back. Oh, isn't this beautiful? <sighs> Don't be afraid of me, Daniel. I can make you rich. These people are wealthy and they're my friends. Bob Van Owen, for example, he's thinking of building a second home up on the Muggian Rim. I can get you that job. I can make your dreams come true. Cheryl, good. It's, uh, it's getting late. We should be going. Thank you. You break my heart. I wish you could stay longer. Well, thank you for coming. I'll see you Monday. Good night. Good night. Sweet dreams. Dan, can I see you inside for a minute? Yeah, just a second. Let me get cleaned up. No wonder you're willing to take this job without a license. Hey, I'm just trying to make a living, all right? Tell your car's right, you might be making something else. Victoria? I have wonderful news. I spoke with Bob Van Owen. He wants to talk to you about building his summer house. Really? That's great. Meetings in 30 minutes. 30 minutes? I can't meet him in 30 minutes. I got to go back to work. You can take a break. Well, I got to go back home and get cleaned up. You don't have to. Try this on. Oh, my, 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 don't you clean up well. Thank you. Here, try this on. What's this? A man who's going places must be on time. Victoria, I can't take this. I'm gonna have to pay you back for the suit. This is from me to you. I want you to have this. Will you help me? Sure. Well, we better be going. With deciduous trees surrounding the site, I would incorporate glass along these walls and take advantage of the solar heat in the winter and shade in the summer. To say nothing of the view. Sounds good. Why don't you work up something in detail so I can take a closer look? Great. Thank you very much. To Dan Hiller, who is nothing short of brilliant today. I'll drink to that. Oh, we are such a great team. This is just the beginning. Can you feel it? What? 
summer storm coming. And the heat just builds and builds and builds until it has to be released. Well, um, I better be going. No, stay. There goes the air conditioning. There goes another hot night. And I have to ask you something. Yeah? Where did you get this suit? I bought it. I had to have it for the meeting. You had to buy it for a meeting? I'm clipping coupons, and you went and bought it new clothes? I had to have it. Do you remember that Judge Van Owen that we met? I didn't want to say anything, but um, he's considering having me build this summer house. You still didn't answer me. Where did you get this suit? In a store downtown. What's with all the questions? Oh, and I guess the uh, salesman just threw this in too, right? I can explain. Oh, wait, let me. You didn't want to be late for your big meeting. Dan, what is going on here? Nothing is going on, Cheryl. I am not stupid. You know, I was there when she suggested you buy this suit because you would look good in it. All right. Okay, she advanced me the money for the suit. She advanced you the money? Dan, you wouldn't take money from my father, but you'll take money from her. Oh, don't even bring your father into this, okay? I'm going to pay her back. You have to spend money to make money. You got to look successful to be successful around these people. Don't give me that. I have been around people like that my whole life. What is going on? What do you want from me, Cheryl? I'm trying to take care of us. Right. Yeah, hello. Dan, it's me. Yeah, what's the matter? Oh, Dan, I'm so frightened. Why? My electricity's off, and they say they can't get a serviceman over here till the morning, and I, I keep thinking that I hear noises. Please, I, I'm so scared. You're the only one that I can count on. I'll be right over. Is this what you do now? Jump every time Victoria wants you to? First of all, she's done a lot for both of us. Secondly, she's my boss, and she needs my help. You know, I shouldn't have to refuse to help her if I want to keep on working. And thirdly, I'm getting real tired of having to justify every single little move I make. Don't bother waiting up. Thank heavens you're here. I was so frightened. What are you doing? I'm looking for the breaker box. Well, that's that there. Um, here we go. The lightning must have tripped uh, the breakers. There. Oh. No more boogeyman. Thank you. You saved me from a complete nervous breakdown. I'll put it on your bill. What's this? Wine cellar. Can I take a look? Yes, of course. Great. Wow. Whoever built this did a nice job. Do you know about wines? Not really. Uh, well, the one you're holding is a Chateau Petrus, 1961. It's worth about $2,000. No. 
I think it's time we open this one. I could get used to this. It's wonderful, isn't it? So many people that just don't know what they're missing. To success. Success? Mm. Lord knows I need some. Hmm. Dan, you always sound so discouraged. <laughs> Relax, I'm not gonna bite. I guess I do get discouraged. Sometimes I feel like I have a hole and I can't get out of it. And who's holding you back, Cheryl? No, actually, in her own way, she's pushing me. Back in Albuquerque, her family was pretty well off. Her father, her brother. There's a lot of pressure to keep up. I even got a desk job with them for a while, and I hated it. I had to go back to woodwork. You know, I love Cheryl, but sometimes I feel trapped. There are worse things than being trapped into doing what you really want to do. I guess you're right. You know what I really want to do? What? Go skinny dipping. I don't know if that's such a good idea. Too late. Are you going to join me or not? I don't know. <laughs> you prayed the water? It's not what scares me. Didn't you like what you see? I bet you never fooled around. Don't look embarrassed. It's admirable. It's just... It's just what? Don't you ever just follow your instincts? Not when I'm not sure where they might lead me. Just this once. Won't you just find out? <laughs> You all right over there, man? I'm fine. Dan, can you come here a moment?
You've been avoiding me all morning. Is this about last night? Look, I can't start this, okay? It's all I could do to show up to work today. I'm confused. Are you saying that after last night, you don't want anything to do with me? No, it's not that. It's just I never intended for anything like this to happen. There was a force between us. Something powerful and mysterious. Something so right. You felt it and I felt it. Nights like the one we had last night. They're not easy to dismiss, are they? Uh -huh. That's not what it looks like. If it even comes close, I want to know how you do it. Look, let's get this damn job done, OK? Good, then nobody can say you're drinking on the job. Victoria, I wish I could. I, I gotta go home. Oh, I'm sorry. I've been monopolizing your time. You don't have to apologize. It's just I have three days to prepare for this exam, and I haven't gotten that much time to study. Oh, of course. I wasn't even thinking. Well, listen, why don't you take some time off, and you can really study. This job will certainly wait for you. You mean that? Of course I mean that. I just want to help. Go on, go ahead. Study hard. Thank you. Arizona's newest licensed contract? No, I guess he didn't study hard enough. Well, don't worry. You can take it again. In the meantime, I have plans to renovate my guest house. That would certainly keep you busy. Why don't you meet me for dinner tonight at the Camelway Plaza Hotel and we can talk about it? I can't go there with you. Do you want to work or not? Where are you supposed to be tonight? I'm supposed to be home. You know what I mean. I'm sure you didn't tell your wife that you were coming here to be with me. No, I told her that there was a computer screw up with the exam and I had to drive to Tucson to take it. Very well done, Daniel. You're learning to play this game. Stick with me. I'll take you to the top.
It's not quite the Mile High Club, but it's close enough. Is this what you want? Yes. Dear Victoria, I made a terrible mistake. This has to end. I can't do this anymore. I'm sorry, Dan. Cheryl? I'm home. Dan, we're at the emergency room at Westminster Hospital. Justin couldn't stop coughing, and the doctor said to bring him in right away. <laughs> Dan, where were you? He has a respiratory infection. He's on antibiotics. But where were you? In a motel in Tucson. Which one? I called everyone on the phone book. I don't know, someplace along the highway. I am so sorry. I should have been here. Things are going to be different for me, home, I promise. Doctor said the medicine should make him sleep for a while. Victoria. I tried to call and didn't get an answer. I was just driving by and I thought I'd stop in and say hello. You look very upset. Is something wrong? No, oh, just Justin spent the night in the emergency room. He's OK now? Yeah, he's going to be fine. Thank you. You both look so tired. You stayed up all night? Well, I did. Uh, Dan just got here this morning. Where were you, Dan? I had to go to Tucson to take my contractor's exam. I'm surprised you didn't get caught in that big accident on I-10. They closed the entire interstate. I took some back roads. I guess I missed it. How'd you do in your exam? I don't know yet. Well, I'm just glad that everything's going to be all right with Justin. He is such a precious little boy. Thank you. We can talk about the job later. I'm sorry to intrude. Who is he? He's sleeping. He's fine. You know, I'm exhausted. I'm gonna take a nap. OK. I was wondering if I could go to the hardware store to pick up some materials for tomorrow for my job. I won't be long. Go ahead. You're back sooner than I hoped. What the hell is that little performance in my house all about? Dan, you seem upset. Upset? I'm way beyond upset. What, you think you could do whatever you want with absolutely no regard for anybody else? I can do whatever I want. What about you? You write me a note, you leave it in my hotel room, you think you can walk out of my life? 
I'm not so easily dismissed. Look, we should have never started this. I appreciate everything that you've done for me, but it's not worth it. I have a wife and a son, and I can't jeopardize that. I'm sorry, I just can't work here anymore. You can't quit. I'm your sole source of income. You surprise me. We should not be talking to each other like this. First you say you love me, then you behave like Wait this. a second. This is getting way out of hand. I never said I loved you. I never said anything like that. Of course you do. Actions speak louder than words, Dan. I'm sorry that you thought that it was anything but a... A fling? A cheap, tawdry affair? Is that what you're trying to say? I'm sorry, Victoria. I never meant to hurt you. Look, why don't you just pay me what you owe me and we never have to see each other again? This has to stop before somebody gets hurt. Are you finished? Dan, life is a series of choices. Either you stay with me, or you'll see that you've made the wrong choice. Mr. Hiller, this is Judge Van Owen. I'm looking forward to seeing the plans you've worked up for my summer house. Uh, maybe you could come by my office and we can talk. Hey, Danny boy, how's it going? Want to shoot? No, thanks. I just stopped by to see if uh, the crew was available for a job. This is Landers again? No, this is new work. Women are dead of the devil's candy. One bite you can't stop. Well, I had to stop. You know, I got everything I need at home, and I almost uh, screwed that up. Never again. Well, anyway, this is a job, you know. Big house up on Mugion Rim. What do you say? It pays real good money. You never met any money that was bad for me. So you got a deal? We'll be there. Judge Van Owen will see you in a moment, Mr. Heller. I know he wants to speak with you personally. Would you like to have a seat? No, thanks. Is there anything I can help you with, Mr. Hiller? Yeah, I was just wondering, who is this? That's Judge Reardon. Does he play tennis? He did. Quite well, I understand. He was a professional for a time when he was younger. So he doesn't play anymore? Judge Reardon was killed in an automobile accident last year. Daniel. How nice to bump into you here. I've been wondering when you were going to drop by and finish up the edition. Well, yeah, I could, uh, I could come by at your earliest convenience. Just give me a call. See you later, Bob. Mr. Hiller, please. Your Honor, I want to thank you for seeing me so soon. I think you'll be pleased with the plans. Mr. Hiller, we uh, tried to reach you earlier. You'd already left. Oh, yeah? What's the matter? I've changed my mind about building the summer house. I won't be needing your services. I'm sorry if it uh, inconveniences you. Dan Hiller. I hear you're starting up a new track down in Chandler. I was wondering if you need anyone to work on it with you. I see. Mr. Shepard. Dan Hiller. What we're looking for is a way to expand this bar area. Well, we could knock through these walls, you know, open it up, you know, add maybe a couple skylights. Yeah, that sounds great. How much does something like that cost? 
I could give you an exact figure, but ballpark, maybe 4,000, depending on materials. Sounds good to me. Let's do it. All I need right now is your uh, contractor's license number, and we'll get started. Um, I don't have one just yet. Um, it's in the works. But is that going to be a problem? I'm afraid so. Mr. Hiller, we're with the Unlicensed Activities Unit for the state of Arizona. You're under arrest for contracting without a license, according to the Business and Professions Code. I'm issuing you a notice to appear citation. If you sign it, you'll be released on your own recognizance. If not, you'll be taken into custody and held until your court date. They're going to fine me 25% of this contract. $1,000. Then I have to wait six months until I can retake the exam again. How can I have been so stupid? I mean... Ben, how did they know? I mean, it was like you were set up. I don't know. I mean, I don't know how they found the name. I got to get a job. We need to pay the bills. Hello, Dan. Come in. I wanted to apologize for cutting out on you like I did, and I'd like to come back and finish my job. You don't sound sorry. I am. I was wrong. You have every right to be mad at me. You mean you want to come back to work to get your money? Look, I'm struggling, and you know that. I have to pay bills. My boy was in the hospital. I need the work. If I let you come back, will it be the way it was before? I just want the work. I got nowhere else to go, Victoria. Victoria, I can put in this dimmer switch if you... I guess you're not playing pool today, are you, Gare? No. Just trying to make ends meet. You know how it is. You see, Dan, you don't play by my rules, you don't play. You think that this is just a big game, don't you? I risk my family to make you happy and you turn your back on me? Nothing faces you, does it? You're the one who turned your back on me. This is the price you pay. I am so sorry. I honestly can't tell you how it started. I think he mistook my friendship for something else. Or maybe he sensed my vulnerability because I am alone. I don't know. I didn't see it coming until it was too late. Why are you telling me this? Because it has to stop. Dan needs help. He won't leave me alone. And I don't want to see you hurt any more than you have been. I can't believe this. I understand what you're going through. I know what it's like to be betrayed by someone. You have to understand, this was just an affair. Hopefully it's over. I wouldn't be surprised if he still really loves you. Uh, you would be surprised. You just slept with my husband, but you think he still loves me? I'm very sorry. Get out of here. Just get out of here. What are you doing here? If I didn't do what she wanted, I'd lose my job. There was no emotion to it, Cheryl. It just happened. Things like that just don't happen. You have to want them to happen. That's not true. OK, you may be right. It probably didn't just happen. It's like she had this plan from the very start. Like everything she did was part of the seduction. She said that you came on to her. Oh, come on, she's lying. I don't care who's lying. You're lying, she's lying. Dan, don't you understand? You slept with another woman. Cheryl, Cheryl. Just leave me alone, get out of here. I want you out of the house. What's 
Mr. Dale. I had to tell your wife about us. It wasn't fair to her to leave her in the dark. Oh, it? so you're intensely trying to break up my marriage? Of course. Don't you see now? You and I can be together. We can be together forever. This was a mistake. I should never come back. Dan. You took advantage of the whole situation, Victoria. I took advantage? You wanted it. You wanted it, and I wanted it, and we did it together. Don't try and turn it around and make it my fault. In fact, I can tell you want me right now. Don't touch me. I don't want anything to do with you. Of course you do. You can't help yourself. You want me more than anything in the world. S Stop yourself, it, Victoria. Dan, that's the whole point. You want me Stop more it. Than... I don't want anything to do with you. This is the Hiller residence. We're sorry we missed your call. Please leave a message at the beep. Job is framed. I'll be fine. From five in the morning or two in the afternoon. Before the sun hits. I can do it. All right, Hiller. You got the job. Okay. Thank you, sir. Sorry. I guess I missed you too much. So how's it going? Okay, I guess. Mommy's crying all the time. She is. Did you tell Mommy you were sorry? Did I tell her what? Did you do something bad, Dad? Yeah, I did. Why did you do it? Mommy's real sad. You know, sometimes people do things that they know are wrong, but for some reason they do them anyway. And later on, they realize that they really hurt someone that they love, but it's too late. You're sorry, but there's nothing you can do. Did you tell Mommy that you were sorry? No, but I'm going to. Got a job at a building site. It's not much, but it's something. It's, it's steady. Would you like to go out sometime? Maybe we could go to dinner or do something. Maybe get away for a couple hours and talk. Talk about what? Us. I don't want to lose what we had, Cheryl. You've already lost it. Look, I just like to talk. Just talk, OK? Maybe you could call the service and we could get a sitter and, and go to dinner. Here's the number where we'll be. I don't think we'll be home any later than 10. We'll be fine. Have fun. Thank you. Good. Bye, Dad. Why didn't the agency call me? Oh, I wish they had. I hated to be the one to bring you the news. I knew this would happen. I knew it. My father never takes care of himself. He's in the cardiac unit at King. That's what they say. Thanks for filling in for me. I'm really sorry. No trouble. No trouble at all. Hello, Justin. I felt so much pressure. She was kind of pulling me, and you were kind of pushing me. Don't even hint that somehow this is my fault. I'm not. I take full responsibility for all my actions. How does this make having an affair okay? 
It doesn't. I know it's hard for you to believe, but I am sorry that I hurt you. You know, I can't turn back time. I wish I could, but I love you, Cheryl. I always have, and I always will. Here. Would you like to watch some TV? Where's your bathroom? Through there. I need some time to think, okay? Okay. I'm not pushing anything. It's up to you. I'll walk you to your door and I won't even try anything. Dan, what are the police doing here? What's, What's going, going on, on here? Mrs. Hiller, I'm afraid we have a little problem regarding your son. The fact of the matter is this child was found abandoned. Why was he left alone? He wasn't left alone. He had a babysitter. Are you Someone okay, informed us they could hear this child screaming all night. They said it happens a lot. Well, who told you that? Our child abuse hotline received an anonymous tip. We don't require identification when it involves a child being endangered. My son was not in danger. I would never leave him alone. He had a babysitter from an agency. You can call them. And what agency would that be? I don't know. It's run by a woman named Marie. The number is right over here. Let me guess. She can't find it. Damn, the number was right here. Look, this is all a big mistake, okay? We left him with the sitter. Honey, tell the lady about the sitter, okay? The lady who came over left me and was scared, but I didn't cry. I didn't cry, Mommy. <gasps> It's okay. Okay, look, until this matter can be sorted out, we have no choice but to take your child into protective custody. What? We have no choice. We must take all necessary measures to protect the child in these circumstances. What do you think you're doing? Mr. Hiller, do you doing? Mr. Hiller, you're in enough do trouble it, now. Please. Don't make it worse by assaulting an officer. Please don't fight us. We're doing what he has to do. Okay, sure. Dan, we've got to get him. Let me go. Let's get him into the car. Yes, ma'am. What if they don't let us take him home? 
Apparently there was a mix-up at the agency. What mix-up? Everyone's really mortified about what happened. Where's our son? Where's Justin? He'll be here in a second. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, hey Daddy. how are you doing? How are you doing? Yeah. Don't worry about me, Mommy. No. I don't understand how something like this can happen. We almost lost our child. Hey, it's never going to happen again. Right. Never. Now I know you're tired. I want you to get some rest. Come on. I am I knew you'd come home sooner or later. Were you at my house last night? Whatever would make you think that? Were you at my house with my kid last night? I know how much he means to you. I just wanted to get to know him better. What, are you trying to wreck my marriage? You break into my house, you endanger my child? What I ever do to make you hate me so much, Victoria? You think I hate you? I don't hate you. I love you. Come with me. Let me show you. Let me show you how much I love you. This is everything we need to be happy. Right here in this room we built together. What is this? This is all my stuff. This is like the pictures in the cabinet. You've done this before with Judge Rudd. You need help, Victoria. I need you, Dan. You can't have me. Where are you going? Back to that precious little family of yours? Don't you get it? They don't matter anymore. You're crazy, Victoria. They mean the whole world to me. And don't you ever go near them again. No one leaves me, Dan. Yes, I'm trying to find a woman I met here at a dance a couple months ago. Her name is Charlotte. Um, her last name might be Reardon. <laughs> Mrs. Reardon. My name is Dan Hiller. We met before. I'm a friend of Victoria Landers. Victoria has no friends. That may be true, but I really need to talk. Can I join you? Certainly. Thank you. I really need to know what happened between Victoria and Judge Reardon. Why? What's it matter to you? I'm afraid of her and what she might do. Look, Mrs. Reardon, I have a wife and a child, and I need my life back. And I don't know if she's willing to let me go. She won't. She made our lives absolute hell. She seduced my husband and she took him away from me. How did you find out? She told me. She gloated over it. That's the way it is with Victoria. So you've known her for a long time? We grew up together. Look, her mother died when she was very young. Father spoiled her terribly. Anything she wanted, she got. I guess she thought because she wanted my husband that I would just give him to her. 
Victoria never dared believe that any man would ever leave her, including my David. But I fought to win him back. I fought hard. So what happened? I won. He left her. He came back to me. And then he died. It was an automobile accident, wasn't it? It was a hit and run. Go to the police. I went to the police. I always suspected her. And they couldn't do anything? They investigated. They said it was circumstantial at best. I couldn't even prove that there'd been an affair. And when they questioned Victoria about it, she said it was all just gossip. <laughs> By the time she finished with them, the police thought I was the one that was crazy. The bereaved widow looking for somebody to blame for her pain. Look, I'm sorry for your problems. I brought it on myself. Well, I better be going. If she loves you enough, your wife will forgive you. I should have known. It'll be all right. But stay away from Victoria, or she'll hurt you too. Take care. Get him this time, Charlotte. Not this time. This is the Hiller residence. We're sorry we missed your call. Please leave a message at the beep. Dan, it's Charlotte Reardon. I'd like you to come by my house tonight. I've been thinking about something you said. You may have the proof I've waited a long time for. Thank you. Don't you see? You can't leave me. I love you. I won't let you go. No one leaves me, Dad. No one leaves me and lives. Daddy, are you going to stay home tonight? I can't. I wish you could. Me too. I'll be home before you know it, okay? Dan, you uh, have some messages. Okay. Yeah. It's time for you to go to sleep, young man. Mommy, mm -hmm. do you still love Daddy? Yeah. I still love Daddy like you, honey. Why can't he come home? Well, maybe he can. Now you go to bed, okay? All right. Sleep tight. Hmm? Oh, you did good. Dan, it's Charlotte Reardon. I'd like you to come by my house tonight. I've been thinking about something you said. You may have the proof I've waited a long time for. Thank you. Well, um, I better be going. Dan. Yeah? I want you to come home after you go to Charlotte Reardon's. You mean that? Yeah. And I also want to talk to you about... What? Dan, I want to move back to Albuquerque. It's our real home. We, 
We can make it there. You can do any business you want. You don't have to work for my father. Simone. I don't know, I thought I saw something out there. <sighs> I guess it was just the late. <laughs> okay, I gotta go, okay? You hurry home. I will. All right, Justin. I knew I could make you come back to me. How far are you going to take this, Victoria? As far as I have to. 
When are you going to understand that? I get everything I go after. I don't lose. Don't hurt my boy, Victoria. I don't want to hurt him. I brought him here so everything could be perfect for you, so he could be here with us. If he can't stay here, Mount, let him go. What if I do? I can't stay here with you. There's no use in lying about it. I love my wife and I love my son. I know you killed David Reedon, and I know you killed Charlotte. I should have killed her in the first place. David never would have left me. Now give me the boy. Victoria, give me my son. If I do, will you let me love you? Give me the boy. Ah! 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 We gotta get out of here! Call the police, come on! Go, go, come on! Go, 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 go. Yeah, she's in the back in the new edition. Okay, we'll take it from here, but we'll need to sort this out. So you're gonna have to stick around. All right, so okay if my boy stays in the car, I don't want him to see any more of this. Sure, he can wait here. Go with the nice police. Come on. This way. He's over there. Sorry I put you through all this. Dan, I had no idea what you were going through. But she was crazy. God, it's over. Dan! I told you it's not over until I say it is. Don't you get it, Dan? Nobody leaves me. Ever. Victoria, don't. Either you let me love you, or I'll kill you. No! 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 Oh, she can't hurt us anymore. Oh. She can't say don't cry. 